This is going to be kind of a long video where I just basically go through all the different 3D shapes we've looked at so far, the nets, and just give a quick revision over them. And then we're going to start doing the problems that are, uh, that are going to come up in the exam. All right. So first we're going to look at a box. So it can be a cube or not a cube. So obviously a cube is every side is the same. And then when it's not a cube, not every side is the same. All right. The volume of any of these is the width by the length by the height. Uh, and then the surface area is you have to add the area of each face. So you just get the area of each one of these. So say one two, three, four, five, six on the other sides as well. Uh, just the area of all the squares, you add them all together, all right? And then the nets, so the nets is what happened is, say if you ha this was a cardboard box and you unfolded it all, what would it look like? And this is what one of the nets would look like. Uh, there are loads of different ways of drawing this. You can draw it in loads of different ways that it'd still make that box. Uh, again, yeah, it's just one of the nets. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about the box. Uh, we'll move on to look at the cylinder now. So a cylinder is shaped like this here. The volume of a cylinder is pi or squared h. That's in your formula book. The surface area of a cylinder is so it's broken up into two bits. There's a curved surface area, which is this bit around here. Yeah. And then there's also a top and bottom surface area, which is this circle on the top. And then there's the one on the bottom that you can't really see, but there's a curved surface area, or there's a, there's a flat surface area on the bottom as well. So the curved surface area is given by 2 pi or h, and that's what you're going to see in your formula book. And also the top and bottom is just the surface area of two circles, so the area of a circle, and that's just pi or squared. And the reason there's a 2 there is because it's the top and the bottom. Remember, the area of a circle is pi or squared, so there's two of them, 2 pi or squared. So the total surface area of this entire cylinder is going to be 2 pi or h plus 2 pi r squared, all right? So this second bit here isn't in the formula book. All they give you in the formula book is this first bit here. And you have to realize that you still have to talk about the top and the bottom as well. So it's a little bit tricky. Uh, so just try not to forget that. Then as well, the net of a cylinder is going to look like this, where this bit here, it's kind of rectangular bit, that's the curved surface area. That's the kind of wrap around bit. And then the top and the bottom uh, are those bits there. So I always think of a can of Coke when I'm thinking of these, because they're kind of the most familiar shape for a cylinder. Next, we're going to look at a cone briefly. So you guys all know what a cone is, uh, shaped like this. So we have H here is the height of the cone, or is the radius of the circle on the bottom of the cone, and L is the length of that kind of diagonal, all right? So the volume of a cone, again, this is in the formula book, is 1 over 3 pi or squared H. Uh, the surface area, again, you have to break it up into the curved surface area, so the kind of the wraparound bit, and then the bottom surface area, which is just the flat bit in the bottom, the circle. So the curved surface area is pi or L, where again, L is this diagonal bit, and the bottom surface area is pi or squared, which is again, just the area of a circle. So the total surface area then is pi or L plus pi or squared. So you have to just be careful about what they ask you. They could ask just for the serve, just for the curved, just for the bottom, or they can ask for the total. You have to know which one to use. Then to find L, they might give you the height and they might give you the radius, or they might give you any two of these. And to find the last one, you can use Pythagoras because there's a little right angle triangle uh, down here, well that's the radius, that's the height, and the height goes directly to the bottom point, or to the middle point, and then L is the diagonal there, and then that's the net of a cone, so it's a little bit weird looking. Uh, I'll go on to the next shape, so next shape is going to be over here. We're looking at a sphere, okay, so spheres are simple enough. Um, again, it's not quite hard to draw a picture of a sphere, but that's my best attempt. We have the radius of the sphere, is kind of the most important thing, so the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi or cubed. And again, that's in the formula book. You don't need to be so worried about learning that off. And the surface area, so the area the whole way around the, the cube, or the, sorry, the, the sphere, is 4 pi or squared. All right, and again, that's another formula in the book. Now, a half sphere, uh, a little bit different. The volume of a half sphere is obviously going to be exactly half of this volume, because it's half of a sphere. So it's going to be 2 over 3 pi or cubed, because that's half of this. All right? The surface area is a little bit trickier. So the surface area is 3 pi or squared. So you'd think that the surface area would be half of this surface area, but you have to think. So the if you half 4 pi or squared, you're going to get all the surface area that's on the bottom here. All of this surface area here but also there's still your surface area on the top here. So this is new, it wasn't on the last one, so you have to add an extra pi or squared because that's gonna be the, um, the area of that kind of circle on the top. So you end up with two pi or squared is 
this bit here, the kind of the half of the sphere, the curved bit, and then the new bit on top of the flat bit is pi r squared. Overall, it's three pi r squared. So hopefully that made sense. Just the surface area of a half sphere. I don't think that's in the formula book. I think you need to be able to figure that out yourself. Uh, I wouldn't recommend learning it off, but just knowing how to figure it out. All right. The last shape then we're going to look at is the pyramid. All right. So things you need to know in the pyramid. I'm going to draw these in. We're going to have the base. So it's going to be say it could be a square base. It might not be a square base either. You also have the height of the pyramid, which goes to the middle here, and then also we have our L as well. So L is kind of along the face, so it's going to be a little bit longer than H, and it's along the face of one of the triangles. I've also just quickly wrote, uh, written these two things out. So the volume of a pyramid is one third multiplied by the base area by the height. So that doesn't matter what shape the base area is. It can be a weird shape, it can be a square, it can be a circle, anything like that. It's always going to be one third by the base by the height, all right? So in this particular case here, where we have a square base, it's one third b squared by h, because the area of this base is gonna be b by b, which is b squared. But it doesn't matter what base it is, the volume of the pyramid is always one third by the base by the height, okay? The surface area then is gonna be the area of the base, so the area in the bottom, plus four times the area of the triangle. So you have to find the area of each of these triangular faces, uh, and that'll give you your total surface area. So just briefly how to find the area of those triangular faces, I'll go white. So if we look at one of these triangles, we have, it's going to be an isosceles triangle here, we have L, this is B, and that means that this side is B over 2, and this is also B over 2. Okay? So this is how we're going to find the area of the face. So the area is going to be, area is equal to, area of a triangle, is half by base by height. So that means it's gonna be half by B by L. And now the question is how we're gonna find L. All right, so we've got another little trick. I'm gonna to go to green here and have a look at the pyramid. So I don't know how accurate this is gonna look, but if we draw, I'll redo that one, this triangle here, okay? From the middle out to L, okay, we can solve it. So I'm gonna draw that triangle down here. It's going to be a little right angle triangle. We're going to have L, H, and then the bottom here is going to be B over 2. Because if you look at that, it's going to go across. That's half of B. Basically, this length here is going to be half of B. So if we want to find L here, uh, hopefully we know H and B, then we can use Pythagoras. We can say that L squared is equal to H squared plus B over 2 squared. So be careful to square everything here. That's going to be B squared over 4 in the end. So don't leave the 2 on the bottom. Okay, so if you solve this, we can find L, and that means we can find the area of one of these faces. So that'll make more sense when you try an, exa uh, try an example of it, but this is just a brief intro, like I said, kind of a revision of all the shapes and how to do different things with them, how to get the volume and the surface area of most of them. So it was a little bit long. Uh, in the next few videos, we're going to start looking at the real problems, and these are the problems you need to be comfortable with uh, for the exam, because they're going to ask weird abstract problems where you need to use all the rules we've learned so far. So if you liked the video, uh, please like and subscribe and tell your friends. Um, and we'll see you in the next video where we start doing some problems.